Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today we're going to do an unboxing of our Moving Beyond the Page curriculum. So stick around if you want to see what we got. So the package just arrived. Um, now, all I did was I did cut it open to see what was actually in the package, but I haven't um, unwrapped anything. Um, our curriculum is ordered through the charter school, the homeschool charter school that we are a part of. So I wasn't sure when it was going to arrive, um, but looks like it's here. So let's check it out. Now we placed an order for um, the seven to nine age group and the full curriculum yeah, age seven to nine, the full curriculum, um, but not math, because we already have a math. So we already have a math. So this is the full curriculum um, and we've got our product list here and there's a lot of things and it also says that there are 20 items that are back ordered. So this is not everything, but we're going to see what we have, see what it looks like and maybe we'll be able to figure out um, when the rest of the stuff will arrive. So I've noticed with um, all of these homeschool orders that I've placed. Uh, boxes that are full of books get pretty beat up in the travel. So this box was, um, the tape was peeling away a little bit, but it had not been opened and the outside of the box wasn't damaged. But it's nice to see that the inside is all bubble wrap too. The kid will enjoy popping lots of bubble wrap. All right. So looks like we have Starry Messenger, If You Made a Million, there we go, Westlandia, Voices in the Park, and A Street Through Time. I was in the first section. Oh, all right, here's some curriculum. All right, so some more of the books. Hot on the Trail in Ancient Egypt, Encounter, 50 American Heroes Every Kid Should Meet. Ooh, I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce some stuff. Um, I'll have to learn how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try and mispronounce it. All right, and then we have curriculum. So. This looks like concept two, unit one, environmental change. I'm gonna just pull them all out for now and then we'll look through some of them. Um, communities change over time, concept two, unit two, concept one, unit one, the land, sound, amazing weather. This is the one that we're supposed to start with, I believe, concept one, unit one. Who was Helen Keller? American Heroes. Communities and Culture. Morning Girl. The Family Under the Bridge. Tornado. That's concept one, unit one. Oh, that's the language arts. So we have the language arts and we have the science. Yep. Sarah Plain and Tall. Um, people change the world. That is from the social studies. Let's see what's left in here. Okay, 
more of the books. The Whipping Boy. One Day in Tropical Rainforest. Judy Bloom, Iggy's House. Poppy. Charlotte's Web. Who is Helen Keller? Tornado. The Family Under the Bridge. So it looks like we've got most of the books that are the titles there. How the Turtle Got Its Shell, One Votes, Two Votes, I Vote, You Vote. That'll be timely this fall. How the U.S. Government Works, Maps and Mapping, The Womp World, Miss Rumpheus. Spaghetti and Meatballs for All. A River Ran Wild. The Shaman's Apprentice. Who Eats What? And A Drop Around the World. So that's what came in my box. Obviously, we are missing some items. Um, so I'm going to slide these that are the literature books out of the way, and we'll take a look at some of the curriculum. So we went ahead and ordered the books um, all together. I know that you can probably find them um, through Amazon or your library or things like that, but in our location, in our situation, they keep going back and forth as to whether libraries are open or closed. and um, I'm not getting out and going to stores, so I just wanted to get everything sent to me where I don't have to worry about it. Um, and we get funding from the charter school, so, you know, they can handle the expense. They get to be the ones to get to track down the back-ordered stuff, so we'll, uh, we'll see how that looks. Um, and, yeah, we'll go from there. So, let's see. I'm just going to look here and see. Um, so, it looks like we may only have one of the social studies. I'm going to try and sort through them. So, we've got concept one, unit two, three, two, two, one, one. So we can kind of see what we have. Two and two. So this is concept two. So it looks like I have five for concept one. We'll see what we have there. We have seven for concept two and one for concept three. So concept three, unit three, the family under the bridge, that's language arts. Um, now I've seen good things, I've heard good things and I've seen videos of other people looking at these. So it comes with required books, which I should have, or they should be on their way. Um, materials that we'll need for each lesson. Um, and then it has a unit review sheet, okay, pre-reading, pre -reading. so I guess we can prepare. Um, and then it has pages that we can fill out. So here's a setting, um, and then economic cycles. Ooh, the lighting on this is not going to be great. There we go. I like that it's wire bound there or spiral bound. Types of punctuation. Um, and then, yeah, and then we move to lesson two. So it looks like, just at a glance, we'll probably be able to do a lesson a day. Um, and that will probably fit well with our current 
schedule. All right, so I'm gonna not worry about lesson two right now. I'm gonna look at lesson one. So I have unit one, language arts and science. I have unit three, language arts and science. I have unit two, science. So there's definitely more coming, um, but this one is tornado and we do have the book tornado. So I'll probably look through that and see if we are able to get started. We are also using Blossom and Root curriculum. So we had started with Blossom and Root because we got that one. Um, it's digital downloads. We were able to get that one. Um, yeah, so required books, Tornado and How the Turtle Got a Shell. I saw that one. So we could get started with this um, potentially next week. I'll look through and see that everything is there. A typical schedule. So they have a daily schedule over here. That's nice to kind of be able to plan. So 30 minutes um, on the language arts reading and questions, uh, 60 minutes on the lesson, 60 minutes on science or social studies, um, 60 minutes on math instruction. So we aren't using their math. We're doing a different math. And then 30 minutes of physical activity. That's good. We definitely need to make sure we do that. Optional 30 minutes minutes extend projects based on interests and an optional 30 minutes reteach skills not mastered during lessons. So yeah, um, it looks like they're saying that um, two and a half hours is what they would do for science, social studies, and language arts. Um, and that is probably comparable to what we're doing um, currently if we were to tie all those together. So that will fit nicely within our schedule. Right now our schedule is um, four hours a day, four days a week. And I have another video about why our schedule is that and, and how that works. Um, but that's what we're working with right now because we have two parents working from home and trying to homeschool at the same time. So this is what we're working with. So I'm excited to see this. I. Um, I'm going to spend some more time, see what's here and see what's missing <laughs> and whether or not we have a full set that we could get started with and what the timing on getting started would look like. But that is what we have. This was the bulk of our curriculum. So this is the big pieces that I was missing and I'm hopeful that this will kind of start tying things together and I'm really looking forward to all the literature, all the books, so that we can cover um, more of those things. I like to expose um, their kid to more, more books um, and help encourage that uh, enjoyment of reading. So thanks for watching, and I'll let you know how this stuff goes as we get into it. Bye!